Hello, welcome back. Ah, we're doing another Simbin Surfer video. If you're new to the channel, or newish, because we've not done many lately, uh, since before lockdown now. Um, if you don't know what Simbin Surfer is, it's where we go to the supermarket and we go in the Simbin, you know, the reduced section. Pick some bits out of there and see what we can turn it into. Hmm, interesting. Because sometimes you see stuff in there and you're thinking, oh, that's cheap, but what am I going to do with it? Or oh, I don't fancy it. But if you could turn it into something different, hmm. So that's what Simbin Surfer is. And we're going to do it. I'm going to do it over there in a mo. Check it out. It may not turn out five star. It's going to be edible and it's going to be nice. And you'll love it. I'm telling you. Keep watching. Simbin Surfer video coming up now. So dough ball kits, uh, that's one thing we got out of the sim bin. Half price, £1.80 down to 90p. Basically, from what I've just read on the packet, um, you take this, it's like a sheet of dough, uh, it's marked, you cut it where the marks are, and it makes little dough balls with garlic and parsley topping, whack them in the oven, job done. We're not doing that. Next, reduced, about 98p if my maths is right. Um, beef meatballs in an onion and ale gravy. Mmm, sounds nice. What does it taste like? That's the thing. That's what they look like there. Again, we're not just going to cook it as that. Simbin Surfer. There we go. So, what I'm thinking is first off, I'm going to cook them as they should be in the oven. And then I'll come back and show you what my idea is. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll see. So, meatballs. Meatballs in an onion and ale gravy. Yeah, that's in me. And what we're going to do, they're a bit more like faggots than meatballs, not the texture. They're quite, uh, quite soft, but that's good for what I want to do, because now what I'm doing is I'm mashing them all up. I can smell the ale in it. Does got, does got, has got that ale smell to it. So we're mashing that up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of chili sauce as well. Carolina Reaper and Kona, just a bit, give it a bit of spiciness. That'll do on that. And also. I'm going to add a bit of corn flour in there, stir that in because I want it to be quite thick for what I'm doing with it. Um, obviously because it's gravy in there, it's quite uh, quite a thin gravy. So I'm just mixing the corn flour in, give it a good stir in. That should thicken it nicely. And as we all know, just use my knife on the cheese. Steak and cheese goes together. Well this is beef, but what steak? Beef. So we're adding bit of grated cheese in there as well obviously these are staples that I'm adding out of the fridge so it's not been bought especially for it because it's Simbin Surfer that's right. so that done so we get that stirring as well right now that is that bit done that's got to cool down now So, before we move on with the next bit, I need that cold because I've got to use it straight away. So I'll be back in a moment. So next step, oh, this, I've got a spotlight here that should be shining on this, but um, it's not working. So maybe a bit dark, so I'll hold it up there. That's your dough ball kit. Now, I've never had one of these, so 
I don't know if this is going to work, what I'm doing. I don't even know what it looks like. Let's have a look, shall we? On a flowered chopping board. Ah, there's your, it's a separate thing that you put over them. Which is that. That's your garlic and herb spread, it says. I think you're just supposed to brush this over them. Uh, but we will put it over what we're doing. So, that's the dough balls. So as you can see, just they're already marked. So what we're going to do is... Carefully get that off. Because it's sticking. Not sticking, it's dirty. Right. Don't want the knife to stick on me, so let's put a bit of flour on there as well. Now I'm thinking, well, I'm not thinking, as normal. Uh, right, what we're going to do then, that'll be one, two, you get three out of it. So, yeah, I think we'll go with that. We'll go with, cut it into three, it's already marked. You should get three, six, nine, twelve. 15 dough balls out of that but we're not doing dough balls so take them two aside make sure that's all covered up not covered up but covered with flour and then start it like that then we get just the old rolling pin Right, what we want to do really is we need a circle. So I'm going to mould it into a circle. I may be able to get more out of this than just the, uh, the three. Depends how thick it goes. Yeah, now I'm thinking that's, hopefully that's going to puff up a bit. So we're going to try Cut each one of them in half now. Don't know if it's going to puff up properly because I'm munging it up now, so we will see. Quite stretchy as well, so stretch that out and I think that'll do with the size. So that's one, you can stretch it to make it round and then we get our mixture, yes, you know what we're doing, we're doing like, they're like patties, like Jamaican patties. I don't know what it's going to be like with this dough on though, dough ball pastry and I think that will do for that one. So what we get? Egg wash, just to help it seal. And all the edge, in fact we'll do the whole thing. Then, take that over. Pinching the sides, there's a bit coming out there. Never mind, a bit too much filling I think. them down a bit. And that is what I'm done. What I'd like to have done is pinch it over to well. Pinch the edges over over it to stop the filling coming out. Now they're like pasty patties. Pasty patties. That is one done. Look at that. So, clear this mess up. I'm not putting as much filling in the others. And I've got to get the others done. I'm not going to make you sit and watch because it's boring while I do that. So, I'll get them all done and I'll show you them before they go in the oven. So, there we have it. 
not exactly all the same size, but who cares? Simbin Surfer. So we do them four log capacity, and then the last two I did like your Jamaican patties, just crimp the edge with a fork. I don't know if the filling's going to stay in on them, and I don't know if the filling's going to stay in on any of them, but we shall see. Uh, you can hear a racket, it's idiot in there playing with, I don't know what he's got, some container. Uh, quickly brush them with egg. Don't know if any of these are going to turn out right, but we'll see, won't we? You don't know if you don't try. So, I'm going to whack them in the oven and let's see if they turn out. Right, let's have a look inside. Now we'll see. This is like very similar to that Jamaican patty. Where it's sort of in between short crust phyllo and everything else. Hmm. Came back at the right time then. So we're having these with chips. That's delicious. Hmm. That pastry is similar to the Jamaican patties. Mm. I wonder if that's what they use it. Very similar. Very good, then, look. Fitting's lovely. That is really nice. And when you factor in, the dough balls were 90p, if I remember right. And the pastry was, the pastry, the meatball thing was 290. So that's 380. It's made six, so three people served for had a bag of chips or whatever, a fiver, three people. That's if you're having two pasties or six if you're only having one. As I say, make them that way. I can get this one out. It's stuck. Oh, I can't get that. Yeah, make them that way. And crimp the edges. A bit comes out, but. That's because I did it a bit thin and rushed it. Um, not the pasty way, that one stayed. But some of them split on the top. So if you make them like the Jamaican patties, they're fine. And that, I think, is a success for a Simbin surfer. Mm, lovely. Nice taste, cheap for three or six people. Let us know what you think, and now we're going to pick these with some chips. Yum, yum. So we'll see you later. See you later.